Welcome back to Go Again Gaming, and welcome back to round two of the League That Means Nothing 2. Uh, I am Ian, and this is Podrick. Hello. Today, we're going to be presenting a game from uh, one of the co-stars of the Living Legends podcast, no. Hell Rosenberger, who may be better known to the community as Red Zone Rogue, playing his favorite class in the game, Assassin. Okay. Against David Walner, the sole prism in uh, the League. You are very familiar with Prism. I love Prism. Yeah. Because you like making your opponents miserable. As we know, fun is zero sum, and there is no hero better at enforcing that than Prism. Yeah, like your favorite thing to do in any game, mm -hmm. whether it is Flesh and Blood mm -hmm. or Magic the Gathering yep. or probably Netrunner. Oh, yeah, I played like Prism Control in Netrunner, yeah. Is stabilizing at one shot left yeah. to die and you're just like cool i win now yeah yeah the game is now over yeah <laughs> you will not take a meaningful game yeah. action ever again you'll find out in 20 turns that you have lost this game yeah that's my favorite uh, thing to do now uh historically assassin loving to do like a couple of small things mm -hmm. not super great at interacting with heralds no or auras Azuri can sometimes the aura plan is yeah the aura plan is, is bad for Assassin to deal with Azuri generally has been able to deal with the Heralds a bit easier because she packs a couple more six powers than the other Assassins um, but I've played this matchup um, a good bit and New I think finds the Herald game plan very hard to deal with because you are not a popper heavy deck yeah I think one of the important things for New is going to be having stuff like Flick knives mm -hmm. to be able to deal with problematic angels. Yes. Because uh, it gives you two buyouts on killing yeah. an angel. And you can stuff the prism turn as well. You can, um, generally, they would like to use like an angel to block some kind of a nasty on hit, and you can scuffer that um, pretty nicely with flick knives. It's kind of one of the best cards in the matchup for Assassin. Yeah. Now, the, de the other side of that is, of course, Prism will need to be very particular about what they banish when they mm -hmm. activate her hero ability or when they attack. Yes. Because if you banish blues from your soul, you are fueling a big turn from new. Yeah. Um, this is not the kind of matchup that goes quickly either. This is no, it's slow. Unless Prism absolutely rolls through and just mm -hmm. has everything they need, mm -hmm. this can be quite a long slog of a game yeah typically what will happen is new will present some threats early on we'll usually get the life total down pretty low for prism we usually gain a bit of life themselves as well with things like um see assassin carry not picked piece art of desire art of desire um, and the majestic the blue majestic yeah. that's per persuasive prognosis. persuasive prognosis so they'll usually actually go up above 40 but then Prism will find a pivot point and the game will just swing completely. Yeah. Now, obviously, as well, New has the ability to use things like Time Skippers, yes. which are really good at playing around the first Arclight Sentinel because you have access to so many blues in your deck mm -hmm. and you're not like a Guardian where you can go like, cool, I pop Time Skippers, pitch another blue for my hammer, pitch another blue for yeah. this attack. Like, you can go dagger, dagger and be fine about it. Mm -hmm. But you need you get one shot at that, so you need to make sure it is very important. It's timely, yeah. And anyway, see. with that, we'll throw it over to the gameplay and see how things are going. Equipment wise, Van Brace in the arm slot instead of flick knives. Um also makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's good. It's not as good into Prism as it is versus into Enigma, but it's still quite useful and it does present some awkward kind of um blocking situations for Prism. Yeah. Obviously, uh not a piece of equipment that Kel breaks out too often because as you can see it's <laughs> in a sleeve as opposed to a mini snap a mini like snap. the rest of the gear. <laughs> Even the common boots are uh well, I, I would be very surprised if they were not cold foil. I think, I think and, Glare, yeah. And then we look over at the Prism's uh, board, and as is typical of the Illusionist, mm -hmm. cold foil. Cold foil. Uh, cold foil. And it looks like some more cold foils. It looks, yeah, it looks like a lot of cold foils. Along with the Prism playmat and the Prism sleeves. Oh, yeah. I think David likes Prism. Maybe. I, I wouldn't be able to tell for certain. Yeah, uh, we could, couldn't say for sure. But every prison player I know, except for you, you're poverty prison. I'm poverty. Yes, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You have non foils. You have non foils in your deck. I do, yeah. I know. That's I'm a fake prison player. 
Uh, anyway, we have started with an extended art Herald of Triumph. Yeah, I just feel inadequate looking at this. Pitching an extended art... Uh, I can't remember. That's it's correct. the Dominate Tenacity, Herald. Yeah. That's the one. Um, yeah, so seven. And you need a, a seven power attack here to pop. Mm-hmm. And realistically... You don't. You need an eight. Yeah. Because if you throw a seven down, that prison player can just pop the halo and be like, cool, turn one, I am off to the races. Here's my Figma Triumph for yeah. you. Celestial Reprimand even as well. Oh, Kel just taking it. Yeah. Red Herald Triumph is such a good Herald to have, especially turn one, because it's either give me yeah. three cards, at which point my next Herald definitely hits, or have the seven power popper. For new, that's probably have Blanche. More yeah. than likely. Like, I think in this situation, it could have been okay to give up two cards in the boots. And we have the Marvel Figment of Erudition coming down. I feel like... I feel... I just feel completely inadequate. Here, why don't you Fake. whip out card market there and just start adding up the price of these cards as we go along. And then we just... I don't think I'm morally... Ama- or, or I don't think I'm, like, emotionally able to do that. Uh, <laughs> And cold foil oh, well, oh, oh, of course. Well, they were fine. He got those for just playing at Outsiders Premier League. <laughs> and a Herald of Judgment, a, re- uh, David. a normal Herald of Judgment. David. David, 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 come on. He's human. He is. He's human like the rest of us. Yeah. Bad. There we have a popper. Very popper. Already dead. They're already dead in this matchup. Like you like it into things like Guardian, where you can banish equipment, but into this, it is not. Uh, yeah, I had Kel just going to play a homage to Ancestors, just gain a life. Gain a life. Yeah. Obviously doesn't want this Transcend card in his opening hand. Yeah. So, you know, this is fine. Like, I'm pretty sure if you're Prism here, you're pretty happy. This you is get, kind of the ideal turn one for Prism. Get the most important Herald, uh, sorry, Figment into play. Mm-hmm. Because it really just, all your power plays come off of... Herald of, or uh, Soraya. Soraya. Yeah, just draw in two cards, baby. On attack. Don't even need to hit. Yeah, cool. Just get fair, two cards. Fair, fair. Seems fine. This is fine. Uh, <laughs> but I think if you're Cal here, you're looking to try and force through some sort of on hit, like a pick to pieces, something like that. Pick to pieces is good. You kind of want to save your pick to pieces for when the prism kind of overextends a bit with the ward, but yeah, this is. Starting with a beckoning misblade, pitching a sacred art. Yeah, now I saw Prism, I think, drew a figment, so this is a pretty good footsteps block. You can block with footsteps. The misplay yep. doesn't have piercing, so you can stop the on hit, get, get that the figment, figment out of your hand. Back into the library and kind of tidy up a bit. No, just let going to let the uh the wave reality. I feel like if I was like surely you could vambrace this then. Yeah, I would just block with the footsteps there and and get rid of this figment that's clogging in my hand, but I don't know the rest of the texture of David's hand. Maybe he can pitch that. Uh, Maybe it's for a... the yellow that he needs to get his turn started, something like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now, what can you do with the rest? Pitching it pick to pieces. We're going to see a spider's bite. Yeah. It's another dagger. Dagger, dagger, baby. Dagger, dagger. These are so awkward for uh, Prism to deal with as well, just because no one wants to block one. Yes. Just going to let the Spectral Shield, the Cold Foil Spectral Shield, eat that. Simple, Padraig. Just win some tickets. I, yeah, I need to get to a calling and just win some of these. Yeah, and here we have Already Dead. This is just six damage yeah. in, in this matchup. Again, versus Guardian Already Dead can pose some pretty awkward blocks because you kind of want to block your armor. Um, but... Um, into prison. Now you got to be glad you didn't block with footsteps. Yes. Because that would be awkward. Yeah, pitching that now there, if we can see why you wouldn't pitch that figment. If you got a soul shield. Pretty good pitch target. Yeah. Um, soul shield. This means next turn, uh, David can start firing off Soraya. Mm-hmm. But more importantly as well, there's a card gone into soul. I mean, so if there's a book, online. Vestige is online, it means Tome is online. Yeah, now it doesn't look, unfortunately, like he had the really sick Pitcher Blue into Tome, turn my two cards into three, but I mean... Yeah. And then we have another... Another Red Herald of Triumph. Yeah, just that's, a clean seven. That seven power is so awkward to block if you don't have the popper. And again, 
even if you did have the popper, it needs to be a seven. Yeah. Um, I think we could see Cal giving up the blocks here, though. Because two cards in soul is already pretty dangerous. Awakening and flipping a, a, a figment, especially the, the erudition, which just lets you have these massive, massive combo, basically combo turns, is is pretty key. Now, only two in soul is like, you kind of don't want to burn through your soul too quickly. But yeah. yeah. Like, as someone who has played a bit of Prism, mm -hmm. I have been in situations where I've been like, cool, I have drawn... 12 cards this turn this is fine yeah what a reason and Cal just taking it taking the four yeah down to 33 so now David will get to soul. get another figment probably figment or courage. protection yeah protection or courage are kind of your good go to like I have nothing else to do on this turn um, I suppose rebirth if you're really planning on setting up for the big turns. Yeah, there it is. Protection. Protection. This is also into assassin. One of your best angels. Um, the Just dagger, generating shields. Generating shields makes it harder for them to. They kind of need to set up their big, huge reaction turns to push through the on hit. But it also just helps so much in dealing with these really annoying daggers that are awkward to block, um, especially spiders bite. Obviously, like, not great for not a great position for Kel, but we're still not too bad. No, this is fine. If we can somehow force a figment flip on uh, David's turn mm -hmm. or on Kel's turn as a defensive measure, we're yeah. in a pretty good spot. Yeah, we got a dagger pitching. Play high, nice. Get a quick roll off here. See what we get. That's a six, so I imagine that is the blood rot box. Blood rot. Oh, yeah. Two four six. Ah, I did just... a reroll because just to clarify, yeah. So it's inertia. an inertia. It's also a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a very very useful one against Prism, who mm -hmm. has been sitting on an arsenal for two turns now. Yeah, I have to wonder what that is. It could be another soul shield. It could also be. Could be a stray figment or an aura. Mm. Um, the funny part here as well, though, is that a lot of news disruption cares about blues, mm -hmm. and like ideally, prism is going to have mostly yellows in hand. So you yeah. kind of it's going to be a tough one to find out. Obviously, David was about to give up that spectral shield, but it looks like Kel might be considering Van Brace. Mm -hmm. Which would be very good because it would force through the dagger on hit, which is actually very relevant in a yeah. lot of situations. Yeah, we, there we go. Activating Van Brace. So the shield just dies. Shield no dies, does nothing. Take one. It's not quite as good as like the cannot be prevented effects, which will just blow up all of your ward, but it's still very nice. Yeah, it's very helpful. It's also very good into the... Oh, yeah. No, it's very good. Bonds of Agony, baby. Now, this is a card. This card hurts. Yeah. So, if you played or activated three or more attack reactions, it gets plus three, and when it hits, you look their hand, choose a card, and just search their deck and banish three copies. They don't copies. get to play it anymore. Yeah. Now, one of the critical things about Bonds of Agony, if you have one of your really powerful cards in hand... You better block with it. Yeah. Like, I <laughs> have played KO into this, and in the Bonds of Agony situations, I've been blocked with this Blood Rush Bellow. Yeah. You can take one. I don't care. Yeah, have one. But you yeah. are not getting all of them. You are not getting the other two that I'm going to need. Yeah. Um, the other issue, I think, Bonds of Agony is that Prism is... Prism does a lot of instant effects. Yeah. And Prism... If Prism has, say, a Genesis in hand, which is very clutch in this matchup, um, she can just flash it in, protect it and then you can go yeah here have my herald yeah. of protection or whatever it's an awkward situation though for prism because like you just have to respect bots mm -hmm. kel doesn't need to attack react with this no nope. to trigger some amount of respect here yeah yeah this is just an awkward on hit that yeah. you need to irrespective of you know um what else is just He's taking it there. Just taking it. Yeah, and then a sensor. Nice. David calling bluff on the bonds. Something that I don't see enough people doing versus new. Just make them have it. Yeah. 
A big I, fan I, of the Make Him Have It. A classic mantra to have in any card yeah. game. I'm now hitting it. with sensor. What do you name? They're keeping a five card hand. I think I'd maybe say like ALS because this could be like a Herald Erudition. Herald Herald Erudition, that's a good one. Solid name because for anyone who wasn't playing back in the day, (laughs) Herald of Erudition, it's a great way to just win a game of Flesh and Blood. Yeah. Uh, Five, dominate, draw two cards. Sick. Closest you will get to on uh, hit, win the just, game. Yeah, here's a Genesis, I guess. Yeah. Pitch in the book, pitch in a soul shield. Also a good one to name, book, soul shield, but they're instants, so mm. they can just be played in response Yep. to the on hit trigger. But I imagine you have to wait until, be- you have to do it before they name them. Yes. Yeah, so card to soul. Get draw shield, a card, draw get a card. shield. This card is just busted. If you see, pro tip. As somebody who plays a lot of Prism, don't let this card stick around. Just kill it yeah, on kill, site. Kill that Genesis. Especially now that Vestige is online. So any card that car- that yeah, pitch this yellow card for three resources, thanks to Vestige. Yeah, like this just, it makes your aura turns so good because you can go pitch yep. a blue, play a Merciful. And we're flipping Soraya. Oh yeah, here we go. And the pain train is starting now. Prism is like, okay. I think I'm ready to, to put the foot down. Yeah, yeah. We're going to start putting the boots in, in. Yeah, pitching a soul shield, going to two floating still, banishing. I imagine you banish here and you just like, yeah, let's draw some cards. Yeah. <sighs> Soraya, Angel, Archangel of Erudition with that beautiful art from Aster Maso. Gorgeous. Yes. All, all the Marvel figments are just stunning. Yeah. A plus whoever decided yeah. to do those. Uh, yeah. This is a comfy... Take four, I think, if you're Kel. Yeah, you never want to block the angel attacks. It Always just, doesn't terrible. really matter. Yeah, take a four. If David has a blue here and an ALS. Or a book. Or a book. Book would be great as well. Nope, just play a passing. Play a passing. Arsenal pass. Now, we've seen a bit of a reluctance on Kel to try and pop a lot of these heralds or mm-hmm. even block them out. So, passing... I think is the less relevant part of this. Yep. I think what you want to do here is throw the daggers. Yeah. Oh, wait, we have an inertia. We, I was about to say we've missed the inertia trigger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, David, please, inertia. So your that... arsenal should be at the bottom of your deck. Arsenal should be at the bottom. There we go. Thankfully, yeah. easy to fix. Yeah, and uh, not something that any assassin is ever going to forget. No. Keeping... <laughs> Yeah, keeping keeping don't, the arsenal open. Don't make me tap the sign. Don't make me tap the sign. Uh, yeah, I Inertia think sure trigger with Soraya on board. This is a very important. Let's go dagger, dagger. Yeah, especially with something like spiders bite because you can't cover it with footsteps. Yeah, you want to block this because if they vambrace to if you think oh I'll block the spectral shield die, it will just vambrace. Yeah, and then easiest vambrace target in the world. Yeah. So I would say the dagger comfortably eats a card. Mm-hmm. The misblade eats either a card or a pitch. Yeah. Which is kind of where you want to be at if you're Kel in this situation. Oh, yeah, sure. That works too. Just going to AOS. I mean, you might still. I, I would still. I would still. Uh, Van Brace here. Make sure to kill the shield. Uh, David, very, very eager to be like, no, no, just the. Just you the hair. Just the shield, right? Be cool, be cool, be cool. Cool, bro. <laughs> homie, homie. Please. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this is... I don't love this ALS. Uh, obviously, ALS, an immensely strong card, can really warp games. Yeah. But then you have hands like this where you're pitching three to ALS and you've no follow-up okay. to Cal, the time walk. Cal just leaving the angel to go into play. Okay. Not letting the... Uh... Hmm. Very strange personally to me yeah you're gonna be you're gonna have to deal with this als so you may as well spend your one floating to yeah just throwing an e-strike at it i guess sure very it's, strange to maybe me still, maybe like... you don't like the makeup of your hand i'm not sure yeah either way i would think the free kill on the uh the angel, angel is incredibly relevant 
Because you got to remember that angel is also representing four health. And if that angel, if you get to get all ward four off of that angel, you are very happy. Maybe Kel is leaving it in play in the hopes that on his next turn, David is going to be priced into blocking it. Sure. Which is really where you want to be at. You want them to be priced into blocking your daggers. <laughs> because, let me tell you, throwing down a three block on a spider's bite feels bad. Oh, I've been there. I have been there, and it sucks. Yeah. Miss Blade. Let's Miss go. Blade. This um, one, throw that footsteps. Just throw the footsteps in. Yeah. Well, hey. again, we're all we're talking very much about the context of the hand here. Yeah. Now you do have the 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 big get out of jail card for Prism, is that headpiece, that halo of illumination, and you can do plays where you can pop halo, get a figment, but we already have the get a figment of protection to still get that one one prevention, but we've already got the figment of prevention in protection yeah. in play. Which does cut out some of those lines. Yeah, the sequencing here is always so interesting as well, because obviously Kel wanted to throw out this misblade to bait out the footsteps immediately. Because it means they have to come out. Yeah. Because you know you can't deal with the second dagger. There's other bonds of agony. Now and we have a we have cards in hand, card in arsenal, it's and those boots. And the boots are active. And the van brace. Yeah. So this is this is like Call. Something tells me Soraya might be dying this turn. Yeah, a better call here, like it's uh, not an easy one here. No. Like now again, you do a Halo plays. Halo can do a ton for you. Just flashing in a merciful. Yeah, sure. I think that's fine. But if you can get this Bonds of Agony up to five, sure, it does what it does. Um. Yeah, it doesn't no. even have to go up to five. If you could give this Bonds go again right now. Yeah, pop the boots. It's tough to say. Uh, obviously, Kel is getting what he wanted by stripping the hand and killing the Soraya. Yeah. But he maybe want, may want to clear an aura on top of this as well. Yeah, you kind of want to... If you can kill an angel and an aura, you're able to bring... You're able to get a lot of tempo back that way. Right now, yeah. Genesis plus Merciful is such a wombo combo for Prism to have access to. Yeah. It means you can never... You're always going to be getting stuff into soul, whether they're popping heralds or whether they're not, and they're letting yeah. you do your thing. Uh, Kel as well, known, known hater of Prism, so you better believe he knows what he's doing here. He targeted the matchup. Uh, he he's not a he's a prism hater. He's an oldham hater. Oh, my two favorite heroes in the game. Yeah, 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 Cal. We need to have words. Big fan of just let me play my cards, please. No. Here's an Arclight Sentinel. Here's a Frostbite. Yeah, like David's got a pretty decent board state here, but with two cards and soul, like the Merciful becomes big money. So I feel like stripping the Merciful and the Genesis are going to be very important over the next two to. turns. This Merciful as well is a win condition. That's true. Um, the the other upside, though, of the Merciful is it stops uh, David from being able to land multiple Arclight Sentinels. If you're from Kel's point of view. Yeah. You can't do the ALS loop, which is... Yeah, yeah we're popping the boots, giving this Bonds go again. Yeah. I think Kel's happy to let this one damage, kill the Soraya, and then you have to kill... What of these two big ores? The passing rash, I think you're fine. Just yeah, so we have two attack reactions there. If we could throw another one in here to give it a plus three, put it up to five, leak in a point of damage. Yeah, yeah you're like, pretty sure. We don't do much in terms of disruption, but sometimes when your opponent has no cards in hand, you get to just have a good time, do whatever you want. Yeah, now if Kel likes the makeup of his hand, he could just have this be like, cool, that's the scary figment dealt with mm -hmm. and now I just I'll poke this other dagger at one of your many problems yeah yeah the two two big problems I think you go for the genesis here if you wanted to clear one of them I think you go for the genesis mm. the merciful you can kind of play around and you can let it stick a little bit longer especially if they don't have any cards in hand um, yeah and I think by clearing the genesis it goes to soul obviously it gives a point in soul mm -hmm. but uh, that 
Oh, maybe you just send this one a face and banish those footsteps. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, this is baby. Bad. And we hit the figment of ravages. Yeah, which is another win condition for Prism. Nice. That's some cash. That's uh, some cash. Like, uh, New, we... not a big cash user compared to other assassins, but like, no, have they no. bought the footsteps banish? I don't think they have. Or does that work? Is it only a card that's defending already dead? I'm not sure. Once it's a hero, and a defending card. I think it applies to the. Well, um, I thought it applies to the whole chain but maybe not maybe not either way i'm pretty sure you're happy enough if you're cal you've removed one of the big win conditions of the deck yeah hitting the figment of ravages now prism can still grind out value prism can still win by just value 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 especially with figment of protect uh, herald of protection or not herald angel protection but yeah losing a win condition never never good to see as a control no deck. like your end game really is oh you're at like three yeah. Figment of Ravages, flip it. Attack. Attack you. You cannot win. Um, and we see another four card ALS. Like, you don't. Yeah, these are not the types of uh, Arclight Sentinels you want to be no. playing, but that hand did not block. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you just. Sometimes Prism deals you these hands, and you just need to say, here's a four card time walk. Yeah, it's not even that. Like, you're taking one here, and that ALS is not going back into the graveyard, so it hurts your ability to loop. Yeah. Now, you still have one in graveyard and one in deck, so you could still do the loop, and the loop is really strong into Assassins or any of these kind of value-heavy decks. But, yeah, it's um, not a great spot to be in. Um, but then again, I played this matchup a bunch. Sometimes you lose tempo a bit, but you have... Prism yeah. just has so many outs and so many lines available to you that you could literally get to one life yeah. and you will win. There's one arcane to kill. Kill that Arclight Sentinel. Goes to soul. Nice pass. Yeah. Yeah, David hasn't been able to get a ton of value out of this Genesis. No, he's Which been uh, he's been forced to kind of dump his hand every turn. Yeah, I think at a point you kind of just have to say unless the disruption is genuinely like breaking, you might just have to take it and hope that it's it's enough. Yeah, like prism can stabilize very low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see the spider's bite coming in. I think for David, you just need to let this hit. You you won't be losing anything from it. You won't lose any big ward or whatever. I think you're just taking the point and making your blocks awkward. Which, to be fair, if you're a prism, if you play prism, your blocks are already usually pretty awkward. Uh. So yeah, just getting a nice bit of confirmation that maybe that uh, footsteps should in fact be in the banish zone. Uh, just yeah. checking my rulings. It's been a while since I've had to judge an event, and <laughs> most of the uh, judge questions of the later stages of it are wizard and illusionist rulings for some reason. I wonder why. <laughs> God <laughs> only knows. The two most orthogonal classes in the game. Don't say things like that. Jack Canty will get watch this and get very confused. Oh yeah, the two strangest classes. There we go. Game. Yeah, I know we've a levels of enlightenment coming in. With two modes, the dagger is hit, so it has go again already. So you just got the drum plus this. So is yeah, go again, six draw card. plus two, so it's going to be a six go again. Draw a card. Three chain links wide with more available assassins. Yeah, dream of turns like this. Yeah, we're looking at a. At, we're looking at this and going like, dang, I'm right. Kel was prepared for prison. Yeah. Kel knows what he's at. Yeah. Now prison is taking a bunch of damage here. This could be the the big stable turn i think if that's happening you have to look at the last card in your hand and go like genesis you're dead yeah yeah if you're taking a bunch of damage here as prism you just need you need to kill one of these wars yeah, yeah you know the genesis is not long for this war. oh well, that's so good that's good probably getting back a leave no witness no getting back a levels 
That's a good one. Yeah, with the one floating, that's pretty good. Because it means you can just kill the Genesis, draw a card, or you can... Uh... Yeah, what are we discarding here? A sensor? Discarding... Okay. I didn't know New still had... Oh yeah, that's it looks a... like a Venomous That's bite. a Venomous Bite, yeah. Yes. And there's a sensor still in hand as well. So David's getting back a figment of judgment and will be discarding a card. Yeah. Discarding it, a Genesis. No, if I see that happen, I am killing that Genesis, kill the Genesis on the spot. Kel, you're a prism hater. You gotta see the yeah, line. Be a real hater. Be a real hater. Well no, you send this uh, go again card. So you draw a card. So you send in the damage. Mm -hmm. You go like, yeah. Go again, draw a card. Here's another three. Yeah, go again, draw. Ah, got it. He's got it. You draw a blue here. You can also crack that silver, but you're always locked into having an arsenal now thanks to the ponder. Yeah. So you can just use these two cards. However you want. However you want, ideally. Yeah, David is in a bit of a pickle. This is a bit of a pickle now. Feeling forced to block here. I feel like you can't really... Uh... Yeah, just taking the three. I know, Kel, you've got to kill this Genesis. Let's do it. Let's see it. Show me what you got. You've got the sensor. You can definitely play the sensor. Yeah, pitch into the sensor. Show the Genesis. Although, hitting five here. Put them to one. Put them to one. Name Herald of Judgment. But you know, yeah, you know they've got an arsenal that locks out their arsenal. We're seeing going to the pitch zone. Yeah, awake and uh, flip a figment. Sure, save some life. I don't love this. No, Angel yeah. protection is so good. And you're still taking one damage if you do this. Yeah, no, this could be. We're gonna see an, a halo play, maybe. Yeah, get the um, triumph. Yeah, get triumph, which yeah, will we go. put you down. Uh, yeah, footsteps. The footsteps that probably should Shouldn't be in the damage zone. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, this will this will cover up the sensor. Um, I think you're mainly just covering this up for the life total. Yeah, yeah, fair. The on hit, like, okay, they can shut off your Herald of Judgment, but like... That was a really good turn from Cal. Yeah. Like a really good turn. This is a tough spot for David now. You don't have access to your two best figments in the matchup. Now, you still have Genesis online, which is great. Genesis can just enable so many nutty things. Yeah, it's a lot worse with just two cards in hand, though. It is. And no erudition. Yeah. Now, maybe... I think, is that a tome? That's a tome in hand. So if he draws a blue off yeah, of this Genesis... Yeah, we're, we're cooking. We are cooking. Yeah, we've got a shield. Which doesn't really do a whole lot in the face of Ambrace, but hey, let's find out. Vestiges online. Let's see, did we get that blue? I'm guessing no, because otherwise we would have snapped. You would have windmill slammed that. You windmill slammed that every day. Yeah, there's some things you just don't slow roll in life, and one of those is uh, tome for tome for two, two card yeah. tome. Herald for five. Yeah. What do you pitch here? I think. Yeah. Yeah, you pitch. Yeah, he did get a blue, but it wasn't the. It Not wasn't a, a light card. Oh, oh, rotten. Rip. So this is just going to be five no go again. Five no go again. No, uh, no very relevant on hit beyond going to soul and getting a figment. So I think if you're Cal here, you just you keep the pressure on. You, you block this, this out. You yeah, you can block this out. You've still got. You can give up a mask if you didn't want to give up too many cards. But like yeah. assassin, generally happy to throw two cards at an attack because their their low card hands are pretty decent, especially yeah. with the tunic coming up. No. Uh, This has been a, a cer certainly been a game so far uh, with a rising sun setting moon. Okay. Uh, maybe another blue transcend card in response. Yeah, it feels a weird one to play without a. Oh, another transcend. Another transcend. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a draw. Just no. No. Mm. Just playing this as a. So that's two transcend cards we've seen just played for their effect. Yeah. 
Which, if you're David, that doesn't feel too terrible. No. Like, have a, have a life. Have a, a card filter. And there's a six. Pop. Maybe maybe Kel was just looking to see if you could find a six. Oh. Shouldn't have popped due to them passing around. Hey, listen, you are correct in as, but also Phantasmal Footsteps shouldn't exist anymore. Yeah, listen, we have a few, few inaccuracies, maybe, but... Illusion, this is hard, baby. It is hard. It's a hard deck to play. And no one plays already dead, so... That's true. Even though it's potentially the best card in the game. But uh, I mean, it is like... It has the assassin tax for a reason. I mean, yeah. $40 card must be... Pretty must be great. It must be good. Like, you couldn't... Like, could you imagine spending... $40 on a card that wasn't good. I don't think I ever could. No, it would have to be great. It would have to be brilliant in the centerpiece of the deck. Uh, Shout but... out, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> um, you better watch this one now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, though. For real. Um, card's good. For fur. For fur. Uh, yeah, get a figure of war. Yeah, it makes sense. Figment of War, one of the, the the good, like, I don't know what Figment to get targets. I uh, see a lot of non-blocks in... Uh, hey. Yeah. A lot of non-blocks in that hand, David. And Kel got to keep a... Kel has a four-card hand. No, no, because... Oh, the Transcend card didn't get transcended. Yeah, exactly. One card in hand, one in Arsenal. What are the chances you have a... Uh, a blue that could play an attack reaction that could give this plus three and go again. Who could say? I've no idea. What could possibly go wrong? Don't need blue. You've got the tuna counter. That's true. Well, no, you pitch the blue, gives you the extra reaction on top of the reaction. Because of the embrace, yeah. Unless Cal is going old school and playing Razor Reflex. Oh, I hope so. The spiciest one of ever you'll find in a deck. Yeah, we pitch a figment to uh, flip a figment. This is... Flipping Sikhem, Angel of Ravages. No, this is Bologna. No, this is Bologna. Um, again, don't... Don't love it. Don't especially love with it. Vambrace just there going like, cool, I'll eat your angel and your shield. Yeah, Vambrace is right there. And it's also... And it is, in fact, a reaction. Yeah, we're not we're not pitching the blue into it. We're just making it seven. Yeah, I... No, 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 Kel, no. Put that, put that fang strike away. <laughs> put that fang strike away. You didn't pitch a blue. <laughs> there, I, there's some judges out here watching this game. Yeah, me. Wins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, me, the L1 judge. The L1 judge. God, watching I, in agony. Ah, well, look. I'm never going to be sad seeing Prism get their ass kicked. Hey, I thought you were a fan. I am a world class hater. Oh, as much of a hater as Drew Drew McIntyre, hater of the year, hater of the year. Drew McIntyre, hater love that. Um, uh, and Kel uh, getting to banish the Arsenal and banish the Herald of Rare Edition off the top of the deck. That's uh, that's some good. Sh- oh, good, good sugar. We're, keep, we're keeping a PG thirteen. Keep a PG. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. If there's a really good turn, I'll drop an F bomb, and that'll be my one off. That's your one off. My one off, one off. <laughs> You're one of yeah. F off. Um, yeah, I read this. Losing the Bologna there hurts. Because yeah, Bologna like is really also in condition. Of... <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. Players never realize that passing was in play. So Kel just takes three off his life total. That's fine. Uh... I mean, didn't the, the, the Merciful trigger? So it should only be two. Because Cal was at 28. Yes, yeah, so we don't actually have a Merciful Trigger then. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It still goes to blah. Soul, which is fine, but Cal should be on 25, I think. Yeah, I think something along those lines. Like, playing against Illusionist is hard, man. There's so especially, many moving pieces. Especially when you're not. So it's not search as a result. Well, it still goes into Soul, but either way. Listen, there's there, it's just a hard game. It's it an is. especially hard game to play over webcam. Yeah. Now, like, there's a reason that James White wants this game played in the flesh and blood. That's, uh, yeah, as the name says. As as Jimmy Blanco intended. As, as Jimmy <laughs> Jimmy Blanco. Big Jim. Yeah, we love him. We love him. Uh, uh, yeah, but Genesis coming out. Genesis trigger. See, the thing is, Kel's at twenty four, which. Feels like a lot, but Prism plays some big attacks. This is true, but Kel has played this extremely well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm pitching a book for a Herald of Protection. This is an eight power Herald of Protection, so have that pop in. Oh, nope, passing. passing. So have two cards and mask. Let's just go for it. Easy. Yeah, I think you just go with the mask. You've no, you haven't transcended yet. The... There's no like, there's no figments in play. Yeah. I if I'm new here, oh. I would just get just eating it. Oof. Oh, they're just okay. We got a bunch of life total adjustments. We're mostly where we should be. Yes. Plus one footsteps, but. Shape. <laughs> Kel, Prism Hater, call me. I'll call give me. you <laughs> all of the interactions you need to know. Here is the guide. Yeah, I got it. I know what I'm at. <laughs> uh, so yeah, simple yeah. coming out. Simplest answer, play KO. Play KO. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way. If you don't want to have to, if you don't have to learn all the weird stuff that Prism does in board states, just play KO and be play Levia. Like, oh, what's this? I don't know. Roll boots. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, taking uh, four from this Herald of Protection. So getting, so we'll have two spectral shields, which is nice. Yeah, goes to soul, makes the spectral shields. Uh, time for a quick search. But what like left, I don't know. Like that three. Yes, you can stabilize here and win the game. And, like, David's not out of this. No. But I, it's hard to feel comfortable. I feel... Having yeah. been through multiple Arclight Sentinels, having been through multiple copies of Genesis... And all your figments now. Like, your two best figments in the matchup are gone. Your win condition... Two of your win condition yeah, figments... Yeah, like, are as we can see, getting the figment of judgment, the uh, figment of has no bloody text, like... Now, in fairness... This can be relevant in this matchup because you can use if they go if they activate new. Oh, you can banish your own thing. You can target yourself and banish your blue so that they've wasted a new activation. But yeah, that looks like what David's thinking about. Gener yeah, generally speaking, you do not. This this is just for health. Yeah, uh, we're getting probably some confirmation on news actual hero text there. Yeah, but yeah, just <sighs> playing it. Taking up Tunic, read new again, giving it an old read. Now David did get to keep an arsenal here, which is good. Uh, Kel, still with a four card hand, and new can do a lot. Like the more cards new has access to, the scarier her turns get. Yeah, you really have to start playing around things like just to make just make one of the premier cards from Part yeah. of Misfell for. Uh, assassin in general. Yeah, we saw Shoma like, play it in Azuri to very good effect. Yeah, but we know Shoma's game plan into prison. Dodge it. Don't. Yeah, yeah don't. don't. <laughs> oh, you're on an illusionist. Uh, okay, thanks. I'll see you, I'll see you later. Have, have fun in the next round. Yeah, Bye. enjoy it. You know, I told you that happened to me, didn't I? Did it? I was playing Zen in a side event and my Enigma opponent saw me on Zen and just this. left. They're like, oh, bye. No, thanks. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, sometimes. I nearly did that on a, 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 an armory this week. I, <laughs> last round, I was like, I want to go home and I'm paired against a KO. You know, you can have this, but someone convinced me to stick around. I ended up winning, so, you know. Not to brag. Not to brag. I won a game at an armory. 2-2, I, two, two, baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Middle of the pack. <laughs> right, we've got an art of desire mind here coming in from Kel. This is one of the attacks. It's just one. Don't care about Honestly, it. Swear, bro. Swear. It's just one. What what could possibly come out here? Lots. <laughs> do, 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 do. If nothing else, you're definitely clearing both shields if uh, David chooses not to block. Yeah, so mm. we've got a block here with a uh, Herald of Triumph. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give it go again with Path Well Traveled. Get our quick transcend. Yeah, we finally get a transcend. Very relevant. So we'll probably see a mask activation here. Ah, uh, we uh, see a Justin Nick instead. That is big money. That's a good one. Yeah. Would you like to take uh, an extra one? It's only going to be one because mm -hmm. of the two spectral shields, but you're going to eat both shields and banish, banish two cards. Yeah. Now, in and banish that uh, herald. Yes. Now, it looks like a red herald, yellow or red, yeah. maybe. Um, this it looks honestly... like we've got another attack reaction. Cal's getting very excited yeah, to play. You can see his hands are getting... There itchy. it is. Hiss. 
Yeah, I think he's just trying to... Another plus three. Now we're pitching a blue to it. That means we get a Slither. This could be... Is this Codex, maybe? Last no, I think that... I think this is... Or is this the hand? The hand. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is the hand. So that is now nine go again. So we got a Soul Shield. So David might be able to hang on to these Spectral Shields, which is very valuable, because Spectral Shields can really uh, spiral. Yeah, Kel does have two floating, though, so no no chance here. Send a dag. Yeah, we've got one Spectral Shield. Which is fine. Yeah. Personal I, think if, card. I think if you're David, you're pretty happy with how this turn went. You get to keep some of your board. You don't lose too much. Yeah, that Herald going into Banish. There's a chance I probably would have thrown that dagger at Genesis, personally, but Kel obviously has a different game plan going on. He feels like, maybe he feels like the board has just gone too far and it's yeah. just, you're at three, I will leak three damage through. I will eventually get there. Which is fair enough, that is, yeah. that is a line that you can take. It might have been, as you said, an idea to just activate the mask, rip a card from Prism's hand. Yeah, Prism is a deck that struggles to deal with low card hands because your your two card hands aren't great. Yeah, they're usually throw one herald. Throw one herald. Maybe if I have Genesis, I can do like a Erudition play. Yeah, and I think most of the Tome of Divinities are gone, either played or to the bottom of the deck. I've seen at least one pitch. Yeah, one's been pitched. One has been played, I think. Yeah. Oh, they're missing a another merciful trigger. Point of arcane. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And this can add up. Like, Genesis plus Merciful is an arcane damage every turn. Yeah, it is a... It's definitely a way to win a game of Flesh and Blood. Hey, I've done there. And ooh... Just, yeah. Sea Strike. You've got plenty of soul. To be fair, if someone throws one of these at me in Prism, I'm like, cool, seven, yeah. Boom. Eat it. It, it literally doesn't do anything. That's fine. Um... It does get to, if Kel lets all this hit, it does put him to 13, which again, like, you know, he was at 27 ish a yeah, couple turns a, ago. A quick so, like, below here. you do kind of got to be careful. These merciful spectral triggers will begin to add up. Yeah, but I think depending on the context of what Kel has going on here, mm -hmm. he could. I don't think we have any more soul shields to worry about. No, all the soul shields are gone. Yeah. So, Kel to 17. And just a, an arsenal yeah. pass. Like when you when the prism opponent has one card in hand, I would be pretty comfortable taking a celestial. Yeah, eat seven. But I am a very aggressive player. You, yeah, you are. You make him have it. Sure. What are you gonna do? Make him have it. Just get him. Yeah. Like if you can send back more than more value than that, or or send back a bunch and keep a sink below for a relevant on hit. Mm -hmm. It's a really like interesting line of play that you can set up but obviously I think Kel here is uh, valuing his life total slightly more than that yeah obviously Prism effectively at 7 uh, oh yeah there we go that's a good one it's fine scene C and even though Prism is generally able to set up their arsenal so that they can dodge CNC's on hit pretty nicely yeah um you're also at three. Yeah. <laughs> you are at three life. I'll give you uh, two heralds, baby. Two heralds. I I have to imagine Kel has something here because otherwise you wouldn't be keeping the uh, extra cards in hand. Yeah. What? Uh, what could he have? Another way. I know he is the, the newest ways of giving their CNCs go again. Uh, yeah, well, Cal has the Slither in Arsenal right now, so... That's true. That locks in some go again. And then... Could because be Codex. Slither can target anything. Yes. Yeah, Command & Conquer gets go again. That's not Very a nice. you ever like to hear. Command & Conquer would go again. I'm a big fan of it, as a Briar player, personally. <laughs> yeah, and we'll just pitch this other blue into the dagger. Dagger for one. Okay, kill Genesis. I read like I think here we threaten the spectral shields. Sure. And then this the follow up dagger because with two floating we could just go eat a shield, kill a Genesis. 
Yeah. Because really, the Genesis is what's keeping David in this game. Yeah. This is, like I said at the beginning, Genesis oh. is a card you kill on sight. David's saying, is that all you got? Is it? Is it, Kel? Is that all you've got? <laughs> no, because there's yeah. a misplay. There is a misplay. Yeah. Yeah, this is, again, like, if you ever see these kind of prism comebacks where they get to incredibly low life totals and they win from that, it is usually as a result of Genesis and or Merciful. Yeah, um, when those are staying, yeah, there we go. It's finally well, gone. Well done, Kel. Really, really disciplined play, because mm -hmm. I can understand totally. To be honest, face, 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 yeah. face, face, face. And that's how you, that, that is actually, weirdly as it may seem, that is how you lose versus prism. Yeah, like... There are always game states. As someone who's played a lot against both new and old Prism, mm -hmm. there are going to be game states where you're like the board state is too much. I can't manage it. I just need to kill them. Yeah. But this is if you get a break like that, yeah, you no. gotta just go through it. Clean it up. Yeah. Take your time. This is not a fast matchup. No. And mm -hmm. here we have a Herald of Air Edition coming in for five dominates. Now this it doesn't have Phantasm. No. Even if it was popped, you'd still get a merciful trigger, you'd still get the figment search. Yeah. But this is very easily covered up. Card plus mask. This mask, I don't think you're getting much of the attack reaction value out of it. Yeah, there we go. Like, the only punish here is an angelic wrath. Come on, David. Show me. Show me. Has he got it? No, he does not. Mm. Does he? Ooh. Uh, just going to flip a figment. Flip a figment. And yeah, see, it's plays like that that I'm talking about keeping these sync belows for. But I can also understand just being like, no, I would like my life total to be four points higher. Yeah. Especially with uh, Merciful in play. But the other thing as well that Prism needs to worry about is Prism is a deck that can very easily get fatigued. Yeah, you can deck yourself trying to win the game. You draw a lot of cards, you take cards out of your library with your hero text, Assassin, and especially new. Very good at fatiguing. Mm -hmm. We so. see that a lot in uh, sort of the limited formats. Yes. Pitching a persuasive prognosis for the spider's bite. Now, I'm a big fan of persuasive prog in uh, this matchup mm -hmm. because it banishes the top card of a deck. And yep. if it banishes a card of a color, you can look at their hand and take a card of the same color. And Prism is a lot of one card color in particular. She loves to play bananas. She loves she loves bananas. Her and Bull, like it's it's a nice thematic thing about them that they love yellow cards. Because like every other deck in the game kinda hates them. Yeah. Unless they're majestic. Yeah, unless they're you know now, have something we got, silly. Got the shield covering one, dealing one arcane damage. One. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I can only imagine there's another dagger coming after this. I do have to say David is doing a very, very good job at stabilizing here. He's burned through a lot of powerful tools at his disposal, but he's still here. He is still playing the game, yeah. and he is still finding lines and outs that he can take to yeah. stay alive. We've got this stagger coming in, pitching a pick to pieces. Pick to pieces. So One you should have cards. two floating here, Kel? Yes. Which also... You can't let the shield eat this one mm -hmm. because then it actually eats your angel as well. Yeah, because of the vambrace. So yeah, we're seeing yeah the footsteps. Footsteps pitching a figment of um, triumph. Triumph. My favorite thing when you play Halo of Illumination and you activate it and you draw the figment that you were going to search. Yeah, it feels terrible. Yeah, it's the worst feeling. <laughs> a good time had by all. Nice, and we have a levels of enlightenment. I imagine this is going to get draw card go again. Yeah. Now, the question is, there is a slight question of what do you target, but I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, if you're drawing a card here, uh, and that is the only card left in Kel's hand, so... But with the caveat that he has an out to play whatever card he wants, mm -hmm. whatever he draws here is playable with playable. one resource and tunic resource. And tunic. Um... um yeah, and if this is a codex, buying back a weakest link. Leave no witnesses. Leave no I witness. Mean, just letting the uh, angel die. Yeah. You don't get the full ward 4 value out of it, but 
you're happy to not be dead. Yeah. Angel's dead. Get down, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, uh, yes, obviously, as we said, David is really stabilized here, but I think Kel is starting to get himself into a very good position to win this mm -hmm. game. And the thing he's done as well is, like, obviously he hasn't been able to transcend, but... He did once. He, sorry, he did get one transcend, but one of the... Um, just cleaning up a little bit of the board here. One of the things that can happen in these matchups... Pitching a light, of, a light of soul. Oh, the time for the... Light of Saul Gambit. This is either one of the best cards in the deck or terrible. Yeah, or a cracked bauble. Or a cracked bauble. Let's see. Ooh, let's see what we got. What we got. What we got. It is a. It's a Yellow Herald. Always good. You like that. Feels good, man. So now you're guaranteed you get your Vestige online. You don't even need to worry about this hitting. Trigger Prism. Trigger Prism. We've got a figment of Rebirth left. And you've got a triumph. triumph. Triumph doesn't rebirth, and I think that's about it. That's it, yeah. Unless maybe David's playing the fun Herald of Tenacity, which if I had a Marvel Herald of Tenacity, I would want to put in my deck for the pure, pure prettiness factor. David now looking in his graveyard, going <laughs> like, um, uh, what am I getting back? Ah, uh, beans. I think mean, yeah. Looking yeah. at that Herald of Radiation, probably like it's rebirth time. Yeah, yeah, I think rebirth is probably your best option in this at this point of the game yeah and rebirth is again it's another massive out because you can use it to get back your figment of erudition your, your combo protection pieces. yeah your combo pieces um i'd say we're probably not going to see an als loop this game no but i don't think so if figment of rebirth gets you back uh figment of erudition or figment of protection that can win you the game yeah but you do need to flip the angel so you do but we'll see so so it looks healthy but yeah there's a lot lot to play for here. Yeah, we're just getting the Triumph. Anti-popper technology. Yeah, well, I don't think it matters, because there's a Passive Mirage in play, so... Yeah, it's it stops the first. It's better for the second. I think... Herald, with... but yeah, it's... I think it's going to be four health. With no resources in play here, mm -hmm. uh, one card in hand. I think if you're Cal, you give up two, three blocks here. Yeah. Don't take any damage. Don't no take any more. damage. Or we sink below. Sink Take two. David will get more spectral shields. Yeah, another spectral shield. Mm -hmm. yeah, Unless this is... could Cal could have another reaction? Could have yeah. something else. Um. Now if this is a blue in hand. David could flip the figment yeah. and attack with it. Um. The figment of triumph ability isn't terrible. It's actually quite useful. Yeah. But not. Massively relevant, I think. I think this David matchup. is now getting his last figment. Figment of rebirth. There it is. Yeah. It was pitched what, very early in the game. Question is, what do you get here? It has to be Herald or Edition, right? Herald or Figment? You can't get a figment, yeah. Oh, you can't get the figment, yeah, sure, yeah. So, yeah, Herald or Edition. Easy Yellow Herald. action. Action, yeah. Yeah, putting that Edition back on top. So now you've got that fun, fun for next turn. Yeah. Now, David did need to... Uh, oh, no, he didn't. He didn't. Never mind me. And we have the blue. blue. So what are you going to flip? Triumph. Yeah, you don't, you don't want your rebirth to die. You want to oh. set up board states where you can protect rebirth because it can get you back into the game in a massive way. And then swing for four, banish, probably. Probably. You're, you've got plenty of soul. Given the minus one is pretty relevant. Yeah. Considering yeah. how many uh, attack actions that Assassin plays come in mm -hmm. for one. Yeah, I would be fine. You've got four cards in soul. You're happy to trigger the ability. I don't think but it is, though. Mm. I think if you're Cal here, you're really looking at trying to push... That last three points seven there. plus points of damage here. Yeah. Now Halo of Illumination is officially a dead card, though. Yeah. Like you, ne you never want to ha end the game with your Halo sitting in play. Yeah. Like it's just such a useful card. It's a useful. Oh, tool. it's some would call it the best card in the deck. Uh, I know. I have activated on turn one, going first, mm -hmm. and proceeded to use it to win the game. Yeah. Because my opponent decided that they would block with a six power attack. 
And you get the figment of triumph, and then I got the figment of erudition, and then I just went crazy. I win. Yeah, thank you, vestige of soul. Kel taking the damage. Yeah, gonna activate a silver. And this could set up a nice little levels of enlightenment play. Yeah. Pitching the pass over to the silver to draw a card. What, One floating. What have we got? It's usually a good way to get the extra blue in, as you were saying, for levels of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And hey, bonds, bonds of agony. What could this be? Now, knowing that my opponent has, in fact, got a Herald of Erudition in hand. Yes. This is a juicy target. This is a very, very good. This is, a, this is lined up nicely for Cal here. Yeah. For sure. Two cards in hand, one in Arsenal. What could what possibly go wrong? Tunic counter What could well? possibly go wrong? Uh, a, uh, a huge amount of things could go wrong. Some here. amount of problems. Um, now, David does need to get, or Kel does need to pump this up to six with the Vambrace activation. If he gets to six power, he can activate Vambrace and, and sneak that point of damage through. Thing is, like, it gets, if you play three react. Three reactions, it mm -hmm. goes up to four on its own. Oh yeah, get the buff from itself as well. Yeah, so you're not not a huge amount of work Cal has to do to get this. Yeah, because Van Brace cancels one, mm -hmm. so we're blocking six here. Crucially, not with that Herald of Erudition, which makes sense. Yeah, so use the tunic resource here. Siren's call. Is there a blue? There is not. Not a blue. But that's the first reaction. We've got another one on the board. Potentially got another two. Yeah. So if we can get this up to seven plus Van Brace. Yeah, so we want to blocking six with six ward on the field. There's actually a good bit of work Cal now needs to do to get this to bleed through. This is true. I think Siren's Call is a card that's not hyper relevant in this ah well that's a good start well yeah okay just the nick is immediately a plus five and that's a plus that's another plus three so a plus eight plus eight brings up to nine so uh we are guaranteed to eat that angel mm -hmm. yeah and activating the vampire so that is yeah. going to be plus three from the bonds plus... so it's just going to be the two cards and the angel get to get killed here mm -hmm. And it has to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, as Prism, this isn't the worst because you're sending this Herald of Erudition. It will eat a card from hand plus the two pieces of armor plus an extra card to activate the Vambrace. This is true. So you're taking two cards out of Kel's hand, which you're happy with. Um, a new on a two card hand, no arsenal. Not the scariest thing in the world. Yeah. This is why I was talking about you wanting to save those sink pillows. They're yeah, so powerful so. against exactly erudition. You don't want to be spending them to just half block a herald of protection. Yeah, so we've eaten the triumph. Take those two. Yeah, Siren's Call. Sometimes very good. Not in, don't think it's amazing in this matchup, but hey, it's a for it's a one cost it, reaction. It which gets is pretty... it gets the bonds of agony up. Yeah. So there's no hit effect here. Prism has two cards in hand, one of which is an erudition. Yeah. Now. Cool. Didn't put it right to the bottom, but we fixed that up. Yeah, and draw four. So I imagine David is thinking, do I Herald or do I Angel? I because if you, if you get that Herald covered up, that's not great for you. But you are eating two cards yeah, and it's all true. the equipment, which it's then true, makes... Because we haven't... This is the only Herald of our edition I think we've seen all game. Yeah, well, this is the same Herald twice. Yes. Because one is in Banish Zone currently. Is from one in Banish? From... Uh, uh, Justinic earlier in the game sure. or some other stealth effect from new but this has been a very interesting game to watch and like david has played very disciplined and kel has really known when to take when to push the gas and when to take the yeah the breaks um yeah david 
hasn't taken a point of damage in about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's, this has been a, <laughs> this is about the prism experience that I know. Yeah. So yeah, Cal needs to give two cards here and all the equipment to stop this hitting. And this is a herald you cannot loot hit. Well, you can if you want to lose a game of flesh and blood. Yeah, if that's your goal. Problem is now it's going to if Cal can do that and then threaten David in some way, mm -hmm. he has no way beyond those two spectral shields to prevent damage anymore. Correct. All the pigments. Well, you have your figment of rebirth, but you kind of don't want to. You, you don't want to play get down, Mister President, with figment of rebirth because it, no. it buys you back into the game. Yeah, it is your last figment. That's yeah. it. You're done. Good day, sir. Prism without figments is a. I'm not going. Deck. It's a. It's better than some other decks. Yeah. Cal just. Boom. Okay. Send me the bill. Show me what you got. This is risky. This is very risky. Yeah. Now it's not like uh, David can, in fact, do a whole lot. If he draws blue and a tone. Yeah. Okay. Then we're in. We're in trouble. Why? I'm flip figments. Attack with Figment, put ALS on top. Yeah. But then you're really pricing yourself into being able to play that Arclight Sentinel as well. So Yeah, you need, and especially, you, yeah, it's, you kind of want two blues to play it with as well. Yeah, pitch in a yellow, activating Prism. Good one of floating, one. banishing the card from Soul, flipping the Figment. Here you go, last Figment. Yeah. Big question on what you get back here. Uh, please banish that card, David. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and a Wartoon Herald for seven. Just send seven. Now this, it very importantly, has Phantasm. Yes, so Kel can pop it. But Kel is also at four, and there is a Merciful Retribution in play. This is true. So either way, it's going to Soul, Siren's Call, Tunic, and one more card? One more? Or are we going to one and just being, like, dead? So, yeah, Kel can't go to one. No. If he takes a game action, he loses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you uh, have to give up two cards here, sure. Yeah, need, yeah, two cards in the tunic. Game's not going longer than three turns, I don't think. Two cards, tunic, you're happy. Yeah, there we are. There yeah, we are. it's a full seven. Maybe David, like, I don't really love leaving this figment or this herald. I feel like rebirth. David is leaning on the, I just, I he, need won't be able, life. he won't be able to uh, kill me before he dies. Yeah. Game plan. So we'll see. Yeah. Her heralds have big numbers in the bottom left. That's true. This is true. And sometimes you can just send a lot of them. Yeah. Send a dagger. Here we go. Uh, kill the merciful. That makes sense. Discipline play. Put yourself to not dead on board. Yes. Uh, but we're in a kind of a rough spot here. Gotta say, Prism with four cards. Hey, some of those cards might not do anything. You never know. I've seen <laughs> Prism. There are some bad Prism hands, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. um, but David has gotten to untap with Passing Mirage, two shields, and an angel with a very, very relevant ability. Oh yeah, so should have one less card and soul, but here, here yes, we are. It's okay. It's been, it's been a game. It's been a game. It's been, a, yeah. it's been a very long game as well. Yeah, here for a long time. Not always a good time, baby. <laughs> no, this is um one of the more intricate matchups you'll see in the league. That means nothing for sure. We're banishing. Um, we're getting something back. Sea strike. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Good old celestial cataclysm. And. You need to give a card for this, Cal. This is lethal. Yeah. I think from here on out, pretty much everything is going to be lethal. Yeah. Three in hand. Not in a great spot. This is spooky. Yeah, yeah. Well, block three, take one, go to two. There's also... We've only seen one Merciful. This is true. So there's two more floating about. Um. So letting... David could at any point go, here's Merciful. That's lit. Yeah. Good night. That's where's that fate for scene? Yeah, yeah. Hope like, that's I a think... fate for scene in our so. I think we're closing out the game here. This has been excellent prism play from David. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Pitching into Van Brace, blocking four. Four. 
Taken one, card to soul, draw two cards. Yeah, this has been excellent, excellent play from David. And then, yeah, That's there's GG. the uh, there's the seven, baby. GG. Um, what a game. That was a Jeez. marathon, not a sprint, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, both players played that really well. Like, yeah. There was a couple of rules interactions which are a little bit harder to remember mm -hmm. if you're not playing against these decks Regularly, all the time. Often, yeah. uh, thankfully, in Ireland, for some reason, people love Illusionist and Assassin. You're not an Assassin. I, I do not like Assassin. Oh, you don't like playing Mopey mid-range decks? Well, I like Guardian. <laughs> but that's a, that's a Mopey mid-range deck that also... But Punch that's you, you just play that because it makes you sad and realize that you should play Illusionist. That's exactly why I play Illusionist. Yeah, now. <laughs> no, uh, really good game. Yeah, what fair absolutely. dues to both players! Like maintaining a, any level of concentration for yeah. an hour of gameplay is a tough ask for anyone, which is why you know I like to play game play decks that don't take fifty four and a half minutes to win the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I no. just like I just like suffering. I just like making my opponent suffer. But hey, remember. It means nothing. So if you learn something from uh, any of the weird rules interactions that took <laughs> place in this game, then you've taken away more than the winners get to take away from the league. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, as always, on the league that means nothing too. It has been a barn burner of a league so far. Yeah. And uh, if you like the video, if you like the commentary, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, send all that engagement towards us so that we can keep doing this, he keeps making the league, and that we have a season three coming along. Oh, yeah. Um, if you're looking to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at find us uh, underscore spirit. And what, can people find you anywhere? Or... I'm, I'm on Twitter. I'm an Arco Mushroom on Twitter if you occasionally yeah. want to see me you... talk about Fab sometimes. Yeah, sometimes talk about card games, sometimes talk about, you know... Be angry. Be angry, angry and passionate about the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, come for the card games stay for the politics uh, and we will see you in the next one bye